Okay, welcome to a uh, quick tutorial here on setting up a free website using WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you are at WordPress.com, not WordPress.org. Okay, and then just click Get Started. And I need to enter in a valid email address here. And I'm going to block mine out just because I am going to put this on YouTube and Vimeo. And so I want to keep that private. And I need to pick a username here. And let's try Media Arts 406. And uh, no one has that yet. Good deal. Okay, so um, I'm going to hide my password here and uh, enter in that. Okay, and I need to go ahead and um, pick a web address here. So maybe something based off the name right here Media Arts 406. Oh, demo. How's that? Okay, so that'll be a dot WordPress.com. Okay. So um, there's, they're going to give you lots of options to buy stuff here, but just go ahead and click the no thanks. It'll do it all for free. Here's all the different options if you want to upgrade, but I'm just going to hit the free one here, create blog. Okay, so it's letting me set up my blog. Now you can change all this stuff later once you have WordPress going. So let's see here. Well, might as well change the blog title right now, make it look a little bit nicer. So, you know, just creating spaces here. And I'll get rid of demo too. Okay. And the tagline's optional, of course. I'll just type in for now, welcome to my site. Okay, why not? And then um, next. Okay. Now we can choose a theme now. Um, I'll show you. There's a specific theme that I think I want to use. I'll show you actually how to change your themes in the appearance area of your dashboard once we get there. So I'll just grab this first one here right now. Okay, and we can customize it now, but let's just do it later. So next, next, and let's hit next again. Okay, we have to confirm through our email, so go check your email now. And I'm not going to actually log into my email here on the video, but it'll send you a message like this. And you just click on the confirm email address, and you're good to go. All right, and so this is, uh, so it says email confirmed. And um, anyway, let's go ahead and check out our new website. Okay, and there it is. Now, what we wanna do is go up here to the left and go to the dashboard. And this is our control panel for WordPress, okay? And again, I wanna show you how to change themes again, okay? Everybody wants to know how to do that right away. So we go to appearance and then themes, okay? So whichever one you had to pick at the beginning, you are not stuck with, okay? There's a whole lot of themes here, okay? And there's lots of free ones. Um, don't get roped into buying one. I'm going to do a search for uh, 2014, okay? That's the newest WordPress theme for, that comes as the default themes when you first set up WordPress, okay? And so it's like the standard of 2014 for WordPress themes. And so I want to use that one. And I'm not going to customize it yet. We'll do that later. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see what we did. So we go up here to where it says Media Arts 406, and we have the 2014 theme, completely blank, okay? Um, so now let's go ahead and add some content. Okay, so we go over to the left here, and we go to Pages, right? Okay, and um, now you see that page that says About right here? We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. WordPress set up a page by default. But let's get rid of everything and just start with a completely blank WordPress. All right, so now that we've gotten rid of their page, let's go ahead and make our own. Okay, so add new page. All right, and let's give it a title here. We'll call it Introduction. Okay, and you can type in anything you want here. So I'm just going to type in here is some text, okay? And you can see some formatting options above. And what I want to do is grab this YouTube video right here, okay? And you can just grab the web address. You don't even need to grab the embed code with WordPress. It's nice and easy here. And just paste it in, okay? Easy enough, right? So um, now that we've done that, all we have to do is come over here and click Publish. Okay, and there we go. So now see where it says View Page right here? Let's view that page. Okay, and there we go. We got a video and we got a little bit of text and there's our title. Okay, easy enough. Okay, almost a little too easy. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go over here to uh, Pages. Okay. Back to Introduction. Now, 
If your WordPress did not take with just the URL, it depends on the features that your WordPress has, okay? It might not take it. And if you have that problem, then you have to do it the traditional way, which is go to your YouTube, click Share, and then click Embed. And there's the iframe, okay? And you need to take that iframe and paste it into the text side, which is the HTML side, the text side of your WordPress. Not the visual side, this side, the text side. And we just paste in that iframe, okay? Easy enough. And we update it. Okay, so let's go ahead and view our page again now that it's updated. And we have two videos. They're different sizes because the different embed methods just have default sizes. Um, okay, so back to the dashboard. What I want to do is delete that one video. So back to pages, back to introduction, and um, you're going to notice that the iframe code here looks different. WordPress did that. Um, it knows what it's doing. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, and now let's update it again. And we'll view the page and make sure we didn't do any damage. Okay, it looks good. All right, we got our text, we have our video. There's some things on this page I need to change right now, though, that I don't like. Okay, I don't want all the sharing buttons here, and I definitely don't want a comments area. We don't want people or spam or anything commenting in on our website. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to edit. Okay, I could go to the dashboard and then go to pages, but instead of the dashboard, I can just go to edit, and that's going to edit the page I'm on. So I'm back in the introduction page here, okay? And um, I can uncheck this show likes and show sharing buttons, but where's the comments area, right? We go up here to screen options and then click on discussion. Now scroll down and there we go. And we can uncheck these, okay? And that's gonna get rid of the comments area. We do not want a comments area on our website, okay? That opens you up to all kinds of trouble. So let's go ahead and view the page again. And there we go, all that stuff's gone, nice and clean.